You get big equipment, you make big mistakes. Wow. Hopefully I didn't damage it. All right, friends, this is a quick animation to show you what I have in mind for a retaining wall to stop my cave-in problem. So um, hopefully I might just gamble and not put a retaining wall in here. Um, so I'm gonna put one here and uh, let's see how, how far I get on digging these holes. And let me show you these pine logs. I actually got five, maybe six. There's probably another one in there. So I got at least six to play with. All right, that's the first one. Whew. I'm gonna take a break. I gotta take another rest. Here we go. I like it. Woo. Well, I think that's it for today. I got two in. I would say the top of those logs are within one inch of each other. Boy, that's just uh, darn luck. I got five of them over here. And two over there, and that makes seven. That's what I need. And I'm going to try to drag them two at a time. This one is a little shorter. I'm going to use it down where the wall is not so uh, high. So now that all the logs are in place, now it's time to go get the backhoe. This is the way to do the heavy lifting. Morning friends, it's a new day and we're on this uh, greenhouse slash root cellar project. And uh, right now we're in the middle of building a uh, temporary uh, retaining wall uh, to slow down or mitigate the cave-ins that I'm having. And um, I came out here early this morning uh, when it was still cool out and um, I punched in three more holes with the post hole digger, uh, hoping to put in three more uh, logs. Um, for the retaining wall. I did three yesterday, and the day before that I did four, and I'm telling you that this is work. Um, even use, using the backhoe to drop them in, like I did yesterday, um, it takes everything out of me to, just to do that. So I'm limiting myself to three a day. So um, three today, and I think there's one more tomorrow, and uh, then all the logs will be in, and then it's gonna be a matter of uh, putting the siding up. Almost like this, this shed here. Um, but I'm gonna be using um, scrap trimmings um, from the log mill. It's uh, 100 degrees, well, it might be 98. And uh, 
that's why I came out early this morning. Um, it was uh, it just it's just too hot, hot, and uh, so I came out early in the morning and uh, punched in. Uh, I got two holes over in this corner with two of these logs, and then I got one hole uh, on the far side over there. Um, I got to do a little clean out, and once I do a little clean out, uh, it's going to be ready for the backhoe. Um, this one I'll use the backhoe to drop that one in. These logs are a little bit smaller. I'll be able to do those, uh, manhandle those. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get those three logs in the ground and, um, and get that uh, checked off the list. And so let's get started on that. wonder if I have a little cave-in. Yeah, I must have had a little bit of a cave-in. Um, maybe I'll set the bucket on there and try to shove it down, see if uh, that sand is soft enough where I can get it to go down maybe six inches. We'll see what, how it works out. Oh. I'm not making any progress today. I don't know. You get big equipment, you make big mistakes. It's just a log, so as long as I didn't damage anything up here. I gotta take a break. I saved this log because it's exceptionally straight, true. It's oak, dried out. All the bark is off. It's an exceptionally nice log. This is the one I'm going to use. So that's a solid oak log that, that uh, it's in really good shape and I know it can hold that whole 16,000 pounds if you needed to. We're back to square one. Uh, that whole ordeal probably cost us two hours and I'm wore out. How many calories did I burn? Woo! good.
starting to look like something. Well pleased, looking good. Little by little. I want to be working on the forms, but uh, maybe one more day finishing up this corner. I don't think I'm going to go any higher than this for now. I could start putting the uh, other side of the form in to shovel this all out here, throw it up there, and that should be good. But um, it's going to make my life a little bit easier down the road. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on another video. friends that's about two and a half hours and three bottles of Gatorade I think I'm done with making retaining walls uh, yeah um, we come out tomorrow I think tomorrow start on the forms getting those uh, set to grade putting them in their final location so enough said that's it uh, I'm gonna go take a shower and uh, get a late lunch going on here all right once again thanks for watching and I hope to see you on another video Retaining wall is done. So it took about six days uh, working on that. And then, uh, you know, I took a break and go fishing and whatnot uh, and rest up and then hit it uh, the next day. And then like a day work and then a day rest, day work and day rest. And it was tough. It was tough. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you on the next video.